the disease is shown in two settings. In the first case, a single pig was inoculated. All the other animals became infected by contact, breathing the infected aerosol produced by this pig. This is the inoculated pig. It has sore feet and does not want to get up. Notice the reluctance to put any weight on the left rear foot. The coronary band is severely blanched. This area is vesiculated, and there is a slight hyperemia proximal to the coronary band. The animal is very lame. There is vesiculation and rupture of vesicles on the heels. The other pigs are still normal. All the pigs are depressed and do not want to get up. Note the coronary bands on both front feet. This is the pig that was lame two days earlier. The vesiculated coronary band on the left claw has ruptured. The coronary band on the right claw is vesiculated, and the hyperemia is prominent. On another animal, note the blanching of the coronary band. This stage is similar to day two for the inoculated pig. The blanched area on the snout is an early vesicle. Note the coronary band and the vesicular swelling on the snout. The mouth movements in the pig on the right is suggestive of a sore mouth. These vesicles are on the left side of the snout. Vesicles on the other side of the snout are red because of some hemorrhage. There is marked blanching of the coronary band. Notice how carefully the pig moves the rear foot so as not to put weight on the claw. Note the erosion of the skin. This is typical of FMD in pigs. Note the ruptured vesicles on the heels and erosion of the skin. Lesions commonly appear on the feet and snout. The brown area is necrotic skin over a dried vesicle. In this more distant view, note the brown area and the coronary band. More lesions on the snout and feet. Here is the inoculated pig. Its feet are more sore than on day two. The vesicles on the heel have ruptured. Note the severity of the lesions on the dew claws. The coronary band is blanched, and the vesicle on the heel and dew claw is ruptured. The epithelium is eroded on the heel of the claw and dew claw. The vesicle on the snout has enlarged. This vesicle has enlarged and has become more hemorrhagic. The pigs are very depressed. One coronary band is bleeding, and the others are swollen and blanched. This is the inoculated pig. The animal is very lame. The claws are very tender. Note how the coronary bands are eroded, and the skin above the coronary bands of the claw and dew claw has eroded. Note the large vesicles on the snout and eroded coronary bands. The vesicles on the snout are large and contain some blood. The skin around the vesicle on the front of the snout is brown and necrotic from a localized FMD lesion. This side view shows vesicles on the front and side of the snout. When aspirating a vesicle, Introduce the needle in a normal area of skin and then enter the vesicle from the bottom. Vesicular fluid contains a very high titer of antigen and virus and is thus an excellent diagnostic specimen. 
This is loose skin of a large ruptured vesicle. Note the size of the lesion. This vesicle involves the whole interdigital space. Note the blanched white appearance of the skin over the vesicle. If trimmed off, the loose skin makes an excellent diagnostic specimen. This is the interdigital vesicle as seen from the front of the claw. Note the whiteness of the coronary band and the hyperemia of the skin proximal to the vesiculated coronary band. Erosions like these proximal to the dew claws and on the hocks are common on stressed areas of skin. The lesion probably results from a combination of trauma and the presence of FMD virus in the skin. There are erosions above the claw and dew claws and vesicles on the heels. Areas of the coronary bands are blanched and other areas eroded. The skin proximal to the coronary band is hyperemic. The coronary bands on both front feet are severely eroded and there are vesicles on the snout. The skin on the snout vesicles is starting to dry. The pig is very lame. The coronary band is eroded and the area is swollen. The area appears wet because of a serum exudate. There is extensive erosion of the skin proximal to the claws and dew claws and on the hocks. This is the foot on which the pig is so lame. There is extensive detachment of the heel, sole, and part of the wall of the claw. The skin over another heel is also detaching. These severe lesions on the feet are typical of acute FMD. The pig has been tranquilized. This is an erosion on the lower lip. The brown regions on the snout are areas of dried skin from FMD degeneration. There is also an erosion on the chin. FMD tongue lesions in the pig appear as dry necrotic areas of epithelium. Vesicles, as are often seen in cattle, are rare. Note the activity of the sow in piglets before inoculation. The sow was subsequently inoculated with FMD virus. The sow and all the piglets except the one in the rear corner appear normal. This piglet looks sick. It appears chilled. Its eyes are closed. It has a rapid, jerky respiration. The coronary band on the rear foot is blanched. This is the same piglet. It is reluctant to move and then collapses, probably because of sore feet. The piglet appears to assume a position to shift weight off its feet. The coronary band is white and there appears to be a break in the epithelium. The mammary glands are unevenly distended, probably because some of the piglets are more ill than others and not nursing as well. Erosions have begun on the sides or ends of several teats. There is a large erosion on the side of this teat. Note that this mammary gland is not distended. The two mammary glands to the right are distended and there is no lesion on the teats. The combination of FMD virus in the epithelium and the friction of nursing cause the erosion. Erosions have appeared on the side and end of this teat and on the side of another teat. And there is a vesicle at the base of a third. This piglet gets up with difficulty because of sore feet. It is reluctant to walk and one rear foot is very sore. One coronary band has eroded. The coronary band on the other foot is white. 
the wall of the claw has become loose. One of the reasons pigs become so lame with FMD is that in addition to the coronary band lesion, there is also a laminitis manifested here by separation of the wall. The coronary band and heel are blanched and vesiculated. Note the erosions of the dewclaw coronary band. The coronary band on one foot has eroded. The coronary band on the other foot is white with a vesicle by the heel. Erosions on the hocks are similar to those seen in the older pigs. The sow and the piglets are all sick and depressed. The activity of videotaping does not disturb them. The mammary glands are unevenly distended with erosions on the teats.